welcome to Holistic Ambition, where we talk with visionary leaders who are redefining what it means to be ambitious. We cover ways that you can live with more well-being, meaning, and fun in your career, business, and relationships. I'm your host, Stephanie Toma, life coach for ambitious professionals and author of Confident Introvert. Today, we're going to be talking about how I called in my dream home. So if you are in a living situation that you don't love, if you are in between living situations, if you are nomadic, by the way, if you are nomadic or you want to be, I have a lot of content about that. Go ahead and check out the links below. But yeah, there was a period of time where I was actually a digital nomad for two and a half years. Initially, when I embarked upon it, I thought it would be three to six months to find the next living situation. And, you know, it was during the years of 2020, 2021, 2022, a little bit into 2023 even. And it became abundantly clear that those answers weren't clarifying themselves in terms of where I wanted to move. So sometimes you need to be aware of what those gentle nudges are. So uh, I decided to go with the path of least resistance since I didn't have clarity. So I ended up moving back to San Francisco where there was a living situation that was really fitting my needs at the time where I had a lot of space uh, to myself, really great walkable area. I I was nearby the center SF, if you're familiar with that area and community where I plugged right in. I went to ecstatic dance the first Sunday that I was back. And then I wandered into the center and I began getting involved with their events pretty much within a week span. (laughs) So everything was falling into place up until the building was sold. And I once again had 30 days notice to get myself in a new situation. (laughs) And, you know, I found the humor in it. Uh, My living situation was actually taken over by a commune. So where I had been living independently, uh, there suddenly were a bunch of other people living there as well. (laughs) So, you know, I definitely made some friends in the process. Um, However, that wasn't my ideal situation. That wasn't what I was calling in. So. I decided to put a call in my Instagram stories. Hey, does anyone know of a place that I can rent for at least six months? And I just kind of let it sit there. And I ended up getting a message from a woman that I met in Thailand. (laughs) To give you some backstory, I was living in Chiang Mai, Thailand in the summer of 2022. And I vividly remember taking a weekend trip to Pai, which is a sort of hippie village. You take a really rickety, you know, three hour ride in a bus to get there. And, you know, there were at least a couple of times when it fell through due to weather conditions or or something. And finally I was in Pi and staying in a bungalow. One morning I wake up and I'm having breakfast outside. I look over and I see a woman who's also having breakfast and without even thinking much of it, I immediately say, oh, hey, are you American? (laughs) She seemed like she was American. And she says, yes, I'm from Austin. Where are you from? I said, oh, I'm from California, Bay Area. And we had one conversation um, that then led to us going out to having a breakfast uh, with another woman who was staying, um, you know, at the same area. And we exchanged Instagram info. And this brings us full circle. We didn't really stay in contact aside from maybe viewing each other's Instagram stories upon occasion. Anyway, she sees this post and mind you, how many months later is this? It's about six months later. She sees the post and says, actually, I am moving in with my boyfriend in March. Hmm. March was the month that I needed (laughs) to have another place. So there was a a lot of, um, even though it was a new state, Austin, Texas, you know, it checked off a couple of the main boxes in terms of a large closet and a bathtub. Um, of course, there are other things that I like to have in my space, but those were absolute non-negotiables. I could not do without those two things. <laughs> so uh, those two boxes were checked off. And you know, I really felt into the, into the option and I didn't feel resistance. And you know, honestly, I didn't really feel a lot of excitement either. At that point, I had been traveling for about two and a half years. I thought it would be two years, but again, that living situation that I had plugged myself into was not as long term as I thought it would be. So it ended up extending. And you know, when you're feeling like, okay, I'm kind of done. Okay, universe, it's time to move on to the next 
chapter. And for some people, that next chapter is being nomadic. But sometimes you're actually ready for more stability and more consistency. So that was where I was definitely at. And I decided to pursue the opportunity. And I made it a, a sort of fun adventure where um, I, I was doing a book signing uh, for Competent Introvert at the Alt Summit in Palm Springs. So I was like, okay, what if, let's see, what if I go ahead and <laughs> just um, kind of have that as my layover from San Francisco to Palm Springs, then to Austin. And I needed to pack up some boxes and ship them over to Austin. The only issue was when they were in transit was they arrived earlier than expected and someone needed to be present to sign for them. UPS did not allow me to schedule delivery. Uh, and I was just hoping that it would be after 4.30 when my landlord at the time would be home from her work. <laughs> However, the first time, the first attempt was in the morning. She obviously wasn't home. And I knew that after a few attempts, the literal hundreds of pounds of my stuff would potentially be sent to a warehouse or be sent back. And that was simply not an option that I was available for. So, you know, I was kind of troubleshooting what to do, reaching out to people, a few people that I knew who were in Austin, like, hey, would you mind working remotely from my future place and signing for packages? <laughs> and I was met with a few soft declines. And then, you know, I was in a restful state before bed. And um, yeah, a friend that I had made popped in my head. Her name's Lulu. And I met her at a conference in Austin. And I just sent a text saying, hey, you know, it's been a while. How are you? And then I go to sleep. We start to catch up. And then I actually remember the next day, oh, she mentioned that she might move to Austin. <laughs> so I, I ended up asking her, hey, did you end up moving? She says, Yes, I did end up moving. So then I asked her the question that I had asked a few times before to different people. And she is an instantaneous yes. She's like, yes, I'd be happy to go over there and be present for your pickup inside and work remotely, you know, from a new place for a day. Amazing. So that crisis was averted and it came through when I kind of, you know, surrendered a bit, just relaxed and went with intuitive nudges. See my subconscious mind likely knew that there was that connection before my conscious mind caught up <laughs> and oh my goodness and you know so many other different serendipities have happened since when it's come to um you know different areas that um that i've explored and different opportunities that have come about and you know i just wanted to share uh, if you do feel like you're in a little bit of a rut, particularly when it comes to home and creating a space that feels like it's your own for the first time, or maybe revisiting that after it's been a while, um, I wanted to kind of put out there the power of allowing yourself to take a deep breath and relax and allow things to come together, even when they don't make logical sense even when there's no good reason. <laughs> and some people will call this manifestation. Other people will call this alignment. Some will call it being lucky, having serendipities come into place. But I truly believe that life, although there are trials, there are certainly errors, everything is a part of something greater. And when you don't try to plan everything out too much. When you relax into what is possible in your life, again, when you're feeling confused or a lack of clarity, this isn't to be confused with not caring <laughs> and being totally resigned. This comes from setting an intention of, let's say, what your non-negotiables are and, or you know, what the vibe that you'd like, you know, your new home to be, and just to have those things written down, tucked away, and trusting that it's going to happen. And even though my initial timeline, I would have, you know, I logically wanted this to happen in three to six months, there were experiences that I had along the way. Two and a half years, that's a heck of a time to be able to explore the US abroad. So just really, it's about trusting the journey. <laughs> And I'm excited about the other things that will come together because what's meant for you cannot miss you. But ideally, we're open to the opportunities as they come 
so that that timeline can be expedited to bigger and greater things. All right, so that's what I got for you for today. I would love to hear about anything that came up for you while tuning in here. And also, thank you for tuning into Holistic Ambition. This is Stephanie Toma saying goodbye for now and inviting you to take a moment to rate, review, and subscribe. Until next time. Oh, 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 oh,